camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. Still raining outside? Yep. So we're stuck in here. What are we gonna do? I don't know, dude. I got nothing. Oh, I know. We can shoot this gun. Okay, so I know that's not a good idea. Yeah, you're right. That was a really stupid idea. I should put this away before some gets. <laughs> You okay, dude? Well, that's not good. Grant? Grant? Ah, oh, great. I'm gonna have to host the show now. My brother got me this Mist Sparkle shirt, which isn't really showing up in the shot, so I'll just pull it up like that. I really like it. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And on today's show, we're getting bloody. Today I'm going to be showing you three easy ways to incorporate blood effects into your shots with these cool assets from Action VFX. They've actually just come out with three new collections. They've got the Blood Mist Volume 2, they've got the Blood Pulse Pack, and they've also got the Bleeding Fabric Pack. So we're going to be tackling each of these effects one by one. So the first one I want to start with is the blood pooling through the shirt or the bleeding fabric effect. Now in order to complete this effect as easy and as painlessly as possible, just make sure your actor doesn't move or crumple their shirt at all. Because if you don't have a paid plugin like Lockdown that actually tracks warping, you're gonna have a bad time and this is gonna be incredibly painful to do. So do your best to just keep your actor as still as possible. It's okay if they fall over in the shot, just as long as they fall over like this or like this. Not like, you know, this. Now the other two effects just involve some simple rotoscoping and getting some extra shots, so we'll deal with them when we get to them. Now if you do want to follow along with the tutorial, all you need to do is head to filmlearner.com slash downloads and grab the three samples of the blood effects. There is a blood mist sample, there is a blood pool sample, and there is a bleeding fabric sample, all in 720p. But if you want to pick them up, you can head to Action VFX dot com and grab them in both 2k and 4k formats which is a lot better so you got all that well let's get to work shall we okay so here's after effects and here's my shot i've got this oddly attractive guy here opening his hoodie to reveal his shirt so essentially all we need to do to sell this shot is to make sure the blood stays in place and looks like it's actually on the shirt to do that, our first step here is to track the shirt. Now I made this even easier by having a pattern on the shirt that gives our tracker a whole bunch of information to track. So let's select our footage layer, head up to Effect, Boris Effects, and let's grab Mocha. Now today I'm using Mocha Pro guys, but feel free to use Mocha AE. Now inside Mocha, all we wanna do is grab the x blind tool and draw a rough mask where we want our bleeding to take place. Mm, there we go. From there, we'll set the percentage to 90% and hit track. Okay, all done. We can now save that and head back to After Effects. Back in After Effects, let's head up and grab a null object. Let's select our footage layer, collapse down the track settings and click create track. Let's select our newly tracked shirt layer and hit okay. Next. Let's set our export to transform and our export layer to our null object and hit apply. And done. Let's now bring in our bleeding fabric asset and set the blending mode to multiply. We can then parent it to our null to get the tracking info all in there and we'll spend a little time sizing it up and positioning it into place so it looks right for our shirt. That looks pretty good. Now of course you can move the asset along the timeline to get the timing right with your actor's actions. There we go. So now I start to open up the hoodie and the blood starts to come through. Nice. From there, it's just a matter of color correcting the blood to suit your shot. And here's my before and after as always. Much better, right? For that final touch, I would recommend enabling motion blur. Now, guys, it's worth noting that I'm working with a 4K bleeding fabric asset on 4K footage, so they match in sharpness. If you plan on incorporating, say, 4K blood assets into your shot and you, say, shot full HD, 
you might want to add a little camera lens blur to the bleeding fabric asset just to soften it a touch, otherwise it might show up a little bit too sharp, especially if you scale it down. But for now, that is one easy blood effect done. Now the second shot will be adding a blood pool to the shot, so that big expanding puddle that's coming out of the back of my head. Now for this shot, you'll not only need your actor to lay down on the ground, you'll also want to get a shot of the rooftop because that blood is a reflective surface and it's got to reflect something, right? Okay, so the next one is a little bit more complicated, but not too much really, just some more steps. Our first step is to duplicate my footage as we need a background layer and then we're going to rotoscope around our actor so we can place the blood pool under their head. Now for this I used Mocha, but guys feel free to use the roto brush. I just found it worked so much faster as the roto brush is very render intensive on 4K footage and my shot is, well, pretty long. I actually took advantage of one of Mocha Pro's great features called the Magnetic Spline Tool that allows you to essentially mouse around the subject, creating a mask with just a few clicks. Now even though I'm supposed to be dead and not moving, I still tracked it because, you know, I'm not really dead and people tend to still move a bit. I then applied that matte and the end result looks like this. Nice, we can now bring in our blood pool asset and drop it in between our footage layers, then we'll just scale it down and move it into place like so. Done. I'll then apply the same color correction, I'll just copy and paste it to blend it into the shot. Okay, let's now add our reflection. For this, I'm going to grab the shot of our studio roof that I grabbed earlier, and then I'm going to pop that in on top of our blood pool. I'll then duplicate that blood pool, drag it up on top of our roof footage, and then, using the track matte settings right here, I'm going to set the roof footage to alpha matte, and bam! No need to mask, baby, it's already done. We can then hit T and lower the opacity of the layer to around 3%, that way we get a subtle reflection. Oh, almost forgot, you can also scale, position, do whatever you want to this, just so that the reflection looks right for your shot. Now since my shot is not a true top-down shot, I also wanted my egg head to reflect a little as well. So I simply duplicated my roto layer, shifted that lower layer over just a tad, lowered the opacity to the same 3%, and finally, I just added a little camera lens blur. And the result looks like this. And that is our second easy blood effect done. Let's move on. Now our last easy blood effect is incorporating some blood mist into our shot. Now in my case, I've got myself being shot in the back, and you can see that involves a bit of rotor work. But you can make this even easier on yourself by just having that blood effect come out either the back of the head, or the back, or on the front, you can make it easier that way. All you have to do is just drag and drop that on top of your actor, and you're done. Does that count as four easy effects? I don't know. The final shot is really very easy too, gang. All I did was use the roto brush to isolate myself in the frame for around 10 frames or so. I then brought in our blood mist asset and put it in behind me. I then adjusted the scale and the position to suit my shot. There we go. I then added my color correction, undone. And finally, I moved along the timeline so that the blood mist explosion coincided with my rotoscope footage, and BAM! We're all done! Now, as I said before, you can make this even easier by changing the angle of your camera and avoiding rotoscoping altogether. That way, all you have to do is just position the mist, add your color correction, and you're done. That's literally it. Now, it's worth noting that Action VFX has a bunch more blood assets in their collection. I've only shown you three single ones. There is a ton of blood pools at different angles and shapes with some bubbles and all sorts of stuff. There's also a bunch of bleeding fabric assets as well. And they're also just as varied with over 30 different types, including some awesome vertical holes and some cuts. Not to mention two volumes of the blood mist assets, with the first volume being completely free. This isn't even mentioning the awesome blood spatter and blood hit assets that are also available in both single asset packs and also as part of the blood bundle. Now gang, it's worth noting that Action VFX hasn't paid me to mention this collection at all. They're just friends of me and the show and it just so happens they make fantastic products. Add up all those steps in those three shots and you get something like this. You okay dude? Well, that's not good.
Grant. Grant. So there you have it guys, three easy blood effects made in no time at all. Now admittedly, it does help to have these blood stock assets from Action VFX, but hey, that's a given. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. I wanna thank Action VFX for sending me these blood assets to have a play with. They have been great friends to the channel for a very long time, so thank you very much guys. And if you did enjoy the episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it guys, and it does help out. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here and I've got all my social media crap if you want to see some behind the scenes and just general musing by me, they're right there. And if you want to help support us, you can hit that Patreon button or you can hit that join button below. But until I see you again guys, keep learning!